Oh boy, oh boy, if you knew what I got in store for you, you'd be already screaming, man. Welcome back to Spectrum Season 3. It's been a while, right? So, let's start with... Uh, or start again. What a cheeky PVZ. One of the players is off racing. But it's not going to be the one in the top right side as we have our red Protoss for Team Micromaniacs. It's Aluton. And his opponent for Platinum Heroes. Rolling Zerg has a random player. It's going to be none other than Aquaron. Usually a Terran player. This time Rolling Zerg with random and... Uh, Aluton is actually gambling that it is not a Zerg, so... It's gonna go for a high ground wall off, which is, I believe it's playable, right? I mean, most of the high level players go for hatch first anyway. They don't really cheese. Um, if it's 12 pool, then it's also holdable. Ooh, and the cheeky forge here by Aluton. Uh, kind of like this. Uh, let's see if this is going to be defensive forge. Oh, no, never mind. It's not defensive. It's not defensive forge. Oh, and actually, Acheron has no idea. Acheron has no idea. He's not checking. He's not checking. Uh, Aluton is actually just um, hovering around with this drone, uh, with this probe. Ooh, and now the pylon gets scouted. Let's see. Two drones are being pulled. I don't think that's going to be enough. Ooh, and now Aluton just scouts everything. Oh, really nicely walling it off. Oh, there's a gap there. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was curious if there's a gap like this. Doesn't seem like a well oh that was a cancel oh i'm not sure if that wait oh wait never mind that was only a pylon okay uh <laughs> sorry about that i fir first i thought the uh, cannon got cancelled accidentally but it wasn't the case right pylon gets on to the high ground to provide vision uh we'll see those uh, spine crawlers but there's only going to be two cannons up at best i guess uh, there's a couple of links here already, so I think uh, Aluton has to cancel these. Uh, I mean, at least one of them. Gets the Photon Cannon at home. Ooh, gets, uh, gets some target fire onto those spines, and now the links come back, now that they are not disturbed. And the cannons switch, focus fire to those links. Two cannons are still up, I mean, one went down already, but... Two cannons actually are still going. Can he get a hatchery? That's the question here. If he gets a hatchery, then uh, it's going to be super, super nice for Aluton. But looks like these links and double spines are going to be efficient. And just take down every single Protoss building. And the probe is go. Oh, the probe gets a queen there for his troubles. Oh, that was epic. I, I kind of love these, uh, these moments, not going to lie. All right, then we see a Stargate coming up for Aluton. Oh, and the Overlord almost dies to that cannon. Uh, pretty nicely done there. But the scout is off, so... Or on. Whatever you want to call it. Um, Acheron knows that... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, ho, ho. Aluton, you cheeky mother trucker. Our wonderful Finnish Protoss player is actually doing some double Stargate shenanigans. And yeah, I mean, uh, I believe if... Okay, never mind. I was going to say if Aquaron uh, doesn't scout it. But I think it did, right? I wonder if this is still the gateway that Aquaron sees. Or if this is a Stargate. He needs to get closer to the wall to, to get the scout off that this is going to be indeed a double Stargate. Now, the first Phoenix is going to look out for that uh, Overlord in the, in the left. What is the follow-up for, for Aquaron? He has a third base on the way, not yet finished, of course. Uh, quite delayed after that very first uh, engagement. Oh, and now the Lynx are going to scout a double Stargate. Uh, this is going to be really, really uh, frustrating for, for Aquaron, I believe. Um, you need a specific response. Usually, I, I believe I see Mass Lings if it's confirmed that it's uh, uh, Mass Phoenix. Because, you know, uh, Lynx cannot uh, be lifted till infinity. Well, it can be lifted, but there's not enough Phoenixes to, to lift them. 
Let's see how many phoenixes does uh, Alton go for. He has a slight worker advantage. Not the end of the world. Um, obviously, needs a third base at some point if he plans to actually play a macro game. Ooh, and in the meantime, we have a spore getting dodged here. A couple of uh, workers are being also massacred. Pretty nicely done here by Aluton. One more Phoenix is going to join up. And some overlords are going to get massacred as well. This is the beauty of uh, a Phoenix uh, place. You can just basically go for a bunch of overlord kills. You mass up those Phoenixes. You lift up a couple of queens, a couple of drones, maybe some units. And then you just go to pick off... Uh, you're going to pick off a lot of overlords. That's a lot of uh, wasted minerals for, for the Zerg. If they don't protect them. Now, Aluton's actually... Alright, so Warp Gate is, is finally <laughs> close to finishing. I was I was wondering, wait wait a second, like that shouldn't be there at this time and place. No upgrade so far. Uh, first I thought it's a delayed Warp Gate for uh, faster plus one air, but it's not. Third base is just going down. Ooh, Alton needs to pay attention not to take too much damage on these Phoenixes. Obviously, Phoenixes cannot shoot down. And Akron is not really doing anything whatsoever. It's kind of chilling at home. Gets a Hydrogen and the Evo Chamber. What is the additional tech? No additional tech. Um, I don't know. Okay, now, finally, as I, I talk about it, a couple of links are going to move out and try to deny this third base. Is Akron is not aware, but he might sense it that this could be the case. Since the link was either cleared or moved back, that uh, protected uh, the vision for the third base. Ooh, and that's a kill on that shield battery. I believe it was a shield battery. And now you have a couple of probes going down as well as some units. And this needs to be a cancel. This 100% needs to be a cancel. Let's see if Aluton pays attention. This needs to be a cancel. Or maybe this is going to be a kill. Phoenixes are diving in. Oh, that's a kill! That's 400 minerals down the drain. Not the best way to to start out this uh, this cheesy little game from our Finnish player. Now the links are still alive and they can still pressure, but double void ray coming up, so something that can actually shoot up. We also have a twilight council with charge incoming and the templar archives, so uh, potential for storm and. Uh, some charge lots to to go with the run buys or go for the run buys rather it's going to be a possibility now the void rays are going to be constant damage on like oracles uh they take down links a bit slower but of course they have infinite energy nice cancel here by aluton it's going to be able to uh save 300 minerals out of that 400 tries to take uh, the base once again as fast as possible in the meantime, how many overlords went down? Five overlords went down. That's 500 minerals uh, down the drain and a lot of uh, supply. Actually, it's even more because the Zerg has to remake them, right? So th th it's not like an option like with Lings or, or Hydras. Like, oh, I'm just not going to remake those. Or with these Phoenixes. Uh, they're just a must. I mean, you cannot actually produce without them. So... Yeah, four bases done. A uh, bit of an oversaturation here on the side of Akron. Oh, actually, it's not going to be any oversaturation soon because Alton just dives on uh, the mineral line with those phoenixes. All right, Archons. Uh, no storm researching yet. On the other side, we have Groot Spines finishing up and now uh, getting the muscular augments as well as plus one missile. But... Ooh, and Carapace as well. Okay. Kind of interesting. So, now that Hydras are out, uh, this Phoenix play could get shut down. Especially if they get uh, caught with those ranged Hydras. Or range upgraded Hydras. Ooh, and now we have Storm and the second Forge. Also, it's quite interesting that Alton has a Forge but never... Never started uh, any upgrades. Now he has double forge. Question is, did he forget about the 
um, the first forge. Or is, is he going for double upgrades? Hopefully the second one. Ooh, now the Hydras are trying to chase away these Phoenixes. A bit of a damage from the Spore Crawlers, but Supply Blocks Acheron with even more Overlord gears, kills. 8 Overlords and 16 drones went down. And a little Queen here, uh, here and there, but obviously a lot of Transfusers being uh, invested into this, usually. Uh, just keeps the Zerg honest, keeps the Zerg at home, trying to deal with whatever is left from these uh, phoenixes. And I kind of like this. Oh, double robo. Okay, double robo at the third. I don't like that it, they are so exposed. Because this is going to be a point of interest for Acheron. Now the question is, uh, what does Acheron have Okay, uh, to deal with uh, this whole thing? So he's going for lurkers? Do I like lurkers here? Well, if you can mass up Lurkers so much that there's no way for the Phoenixes to lift most of them. No, I, I don't think. Um, there's nine Phoenixes. That's nine lifts. And everything else will just deal uh, with Hydras on the ground. There's eight Templars. There's eight Templars. And there's a bunch of Storms already. There's a run-by of Zealots ready. In the top left side. We'll see when uh, when Aluton decides to send those in. And there's an Overseer coming up. What do we have here? Overseer is not going to scout. Oh, hold on. Haha. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is how it's going to get played out. Uh, adaptive talents being researched instead of sizing spines. Uh. I don't know. Honestly, it might be just a preference, but I think I like uh, I like the range upgrade first more, because then just siege uh, or just burrow at a distance, and like you can you can finish the burrow anyways, and once they are in, they cannot run because you're gonna chase them down. Okay, these phoenixes are actually in trouble, but lift three hydras, and these, those three hydras are not going to be lurkers. They're not going to be part of uh, the army. Nidus has finished up, and Adaptive Talents is going to finish up. Ooh, does Aluton know about this? It doesn't. It's just barely out of region. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, one more overlord is going to go down, but Acheron has plenty of overlords. He has 21 overlords. That's going to be plenty enough. Ooh, and look at that. Oh, Lurkers into the main. This is going to be really scary. Aquaro might just push for the GG here. And there's the Queens with them. The anti-air support here and healing those uh, Lurkers once they get back onto creep. Aquaro just sieging every single Lurker in position. Gets a lot of the production, but he gets his army lifted. Some of those Lurkers get lifted and... Aluton. Oh, the Queens are not exactly in position. Aluton picks off a couple of Lurkers, and there's a couple of Voidrays here. Observer in position. Archons are going to deal nicely with this, as well as the Immortals. Oh, and actually, Aluton is cleaning up everything. But meanwhile, a bunch of Hydras went into the third base, and now the probes are being pulled and dealing with the Hydras. Double Robo still intact. Overseer gets cleaned up. Aluton with the fight of a century here, cleaning up a mass amount of lurkers, and now carrier production is in play. So we see the classic late game army storm carriers, potentially even some disruptors if Aluton decides to add a uh, robotics bay. Zelotron by gets cleaned up. That Zelotron by took forever. The patience on Aluton to send it in. Uh, Pretty much at the right time, preventing another counterattack. Um, Aluton is close to maxing out. Doesn't have the uh, supply cap though, but he's working on it. Ooh, and now we can see a bunch of storms really nicely uh, blanketing, but sadly a couple of uh, void rays are being blanketed as well. And now the carriers are going to deal with these lurkers and there's only a couple of hydras here. There's 11 hydras and 62 links. Uh, and last time I checked, links cannot shoot up. There's nine queens, but obviously you want to keep injecting 
you want to keep injecting and you want to to be able to um to sustain your production right so uh neither player has a bank and honestly quality wise i would say aluton is basically in a huge commanding lead now lingbane hydra is nice and all but honestly i don't really like it for certain extended period periods there is potential for vipers because we have a hive so i wouldn't mind vipers being added to this composition as well as maybe something more like corruptors i guess no not corruptors like, like broodlords I don't know what would be the transition here i feel like aquaron has no time to do uh, do it basically like this protoss army is not that huge in in masses who beautifully pulled away the the probes by aluton i kind of like it and now the fifth base is coming up as well as rebuilding that third mining looks uh quite nicely for aquaron though he has a bunch of bases he has a bunch of workers um I think Aluton's, uh, yeah, Aluton's base is actually, he needs to finish it because other than that, it's going to be long distance mining and you're going to have that uh, five, 600 gap at all times. And now this fifth base is going to fall. Ooh, but beautiful storms actually just cuts off a bunch of hydras here. Also, what happened? Oh, phoenixes are still here. I was going to ask what happened with the phoenixes because I didn't see them in this particular fight. Oh, there's a bunch of banelings rolling around. Phoenixes on the right side, as well as three zealots being uh, prepared for a run by. The spore is going to go down for sure. And now a couple of queens could go down. Let's see what Aquaron decides to do here. He has the whole army ready. A bunch of banelings are still morphing. No run by from Akron yet, but there is a run by on the side of Aluton. And now he's going to. Oh! I think he lost a Templar! There's only a single Templar left! Oh my goodness! He had to recall instantly. Bit of an unfortunate position. Was that a move command? I think it was a move command. I am not sure. Maybe just Akron managed to uh, find those Templars out of position. So, down to six carriers and. Uh, additional four templars so make it a total of five but the upgrades the upgrades are looking so nice for for aluton plus three carriers soon to be a thing plus three ground units soon to be a thing phoenixes uh, still coming in and just still massacring uh, drones and now akron is actually in a top position he has less than 50 workers aluton still uh flourishes with Oh, it's going to be around 70 workers, I believe, after this uh, this little run by here. But I think he can give up this base. I mean, he's in a commanding lead. He's still up in workers. He has his economy up and running still. So, why not? Okay. Ooh, Bailing, Bailing. Bailing is trying to make a connection here. What a, what a giga chat bailing just chasing around the whole mineral line of probes. How many hydras do we have? 48 hydras and 24 links. Oh my goodness, that, that is a huge amount. Imagine if Acheron could max out on this uh, this probe count. That would mean a 150 army supply. That is crazy. It already has the army supply advantage. Okay. Ooh, bailing run by. Let's go. And here's the here's the phoenixes all creep so they gave away their position and now the hydras are in the center of the map Ooh. oh uh, aluton hello oh my goodness all the phoenixes go down no this is not what you want aluton oh that was so painful i think you must have nightmares after that Ooh, just move commanding the the phoenixes into the hydras Happens to the best, I guess. Oh, that's that's mentally so frustrating. I mean, you you gotta you gotta hold it together, you know. And, and when you see that your map control is just uh, just slimmer and slimmer, how do you deal with it? I'm actually curious. Uh, how do you deal with these frustrating uh, situations in the game and and stay calm? I would freak out honestly if I would have uh, this amount of 
uh, supply lost to a simple move command but because i had to do something else or i couldn't just pay attention to it i, I don't know what happened there but i'm sure it was not intentional obviously you don't want to throw away phoenixes that were so useful from the beginning of the game bunch of links are heading into the natural but it's not going to be a thing and look at this a, a huge technical protoss army with templars with archons with immortals to tank and a bunch of carriers are going to just move across and now Acheron sees that there is a base here on the low ground as well uh, so he's in a really bad s spot hive is gonna go down oh that's a huge pickoff hive the bailing nest everything is going to fall here all the tech is in the natural oh but actually huge storms here on those hydras i missed half of it oh and that's going to be the end of this game oh my goodness a bunch of storms dropping onto the hydras to close out this game no not having any tech the rest of it being exposed akron just taps out and aluton takes this wonderful pvz oh this was such an entertaining game man honestly i'll be honest this is in my top five favorite uh ladder games that i've seen uh and casted 100 percent. but yeah that's going to be it from me today and yeah i hope to see you guys back for some more spectrum series the format is going to be one series and one spectrum series episode each week i'm gonna try to stick to it and yeah have a good day and i'll see you in the next one cheers